in the uh, the, the world of image, there we have <clears throat> the uh, computer graphics. The new technology has informed images so that we have a completely different kind of image now than we ever had before, which is fractal image, which is a kind of fractal geometry is closer to nature than Euclidean geometry. And fractal geometry was not created from psychedelics, but has been very greatly supported by uh, technicians with psychedelic experience. So in the sphere of music, we have something like Euclidean geometry, the old paradigm, has a much stronger grip on the evolution of music, and uh, therefore fractal geometry and the uh, psychedelic awareness has not really manifested itself in music so much yet. So I'm interested in so-called algorithmic composition, because this is the way we, we cannot really play fractal music with a guitar or a piano. Although there have been great efforts. People are playing with four hands, with uh, musical staff notation, which is so dense that it's almost unreadable. But I think um, algorithmic music provides, it would be computer-generated music, provides the opportunity for a new kind of uh, creativity, for a breakthrough in which the uh, psychedelic state of mind, let us say, would enter popular consciousness through this uh, computer-generated music. That is an important frontier. It began with uh, the player piano. The player piano was an opportunity to punch holes in paper according to a mathematical pattern that would then produce the kind of music that Nobody with, could play with hands on the piano. So this uh, algorithmic music is making headway. Somewhere there are people doing it. Their results are posted on the World Wide Web. You could download it, play, and so on. But this is nowhere touched, as far as I know, popular culture. Maybe... When these people start posting uh, their compositions on iTunes, and uh, kids begin to discover where you can download and play, and then it would resonate uh, sympathetically with their psychedelic experience, and then maybe you know a psychedelic music could have a start. So far, it hasn't. So uh, one of my little strategies for dealing with this is to a piggyback algorithmic music on top of algorithmic image, which is actually making a lot of headway now uh, through this idea of digital harmony of John Whitney, which is the same algorithm makes the picture and makes the music, and therefore there is a relationship. The degree to which people can grok the new kind of image, like fractal geometry, fractal animation, uh, <clears throat> that would then be translated into their appreciation of the music through the relationship between the picture and the music, would transfer their um, personal experience of psychedelics or whatever has gone into the image that can be shared with people who haven't had that experience and then get into the music and finally some generations from now, algorithmic music could have a life of its own that would be extremely transformative to worldwide culture. <laughs>